In this video, I'll be doing a review slash comparison of the Bond Number no. 9 in Madison Square Park and the Chanel uh, Chance Eau de Ten Tendre. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but this is what it looks like. And it's just the Chanel Chance Women's Fragrance with the pink liquid. And I just have a sample of the Bond Number no. 9. Okay, so I've been looking for a new fragrance to get for my birthday and something for the summer that's really light and fresh and floral. And I've heard a lot about Bond Number no. 9 fragrances. If you do not know a lot about Bond, they are a New York based fragrance company and most of their fragrances cater to different areas of New York City or different boroughs or different beaches. So that's basically the concept and it's like a niche fragrance um, line. I was talking with somebody on Instagram and they were saying like, how can you be a New Yorker and not have any Bond fragrances? So I was like, hmm, let me go check them out because a lot of ladies were saying that they're really great, they smell good and the perfume concentration is more because I think the guy said that they had like a percentage of oil I'm not sure so today I went to my local Saks Fifth Avenue and if you're in Atlanta and you go to the Saks uh, I wish I could remember the guy's name um, I can't remember his name but the guy who was over I'm not sure if he's over the Bond fragrances or what but he was very knowledgeable and he just really helped me he um he asked me what my favorite scents were and then he showed me probably 10 different Bond fragrances that he thought I would like and I ended up liking about three or four of them so of those I am probably going to get one but I want to do a review of the Madison Square Park and also the why I want to do this video now is because at Saks they are having a promotion which if you're into Bond you probably already know if you buy two Bond fragrance or body silks or something or candles you get a free 3.3 ounce fragrance so I figure that's a great way especially if you're not that into Bond but you do know scents that you like um you could get one full size large fragrance for free so um the one that I smelled that I really liked was Madison was Madison Square Park and I believe this is in a pink or green bottle I'm not sure but I will put a picture of it somewhere in the video so he just sent me home with a sample. Now when I smelled it, I immediately thought this smells like something I have. And I didn't want to say it, of course, because that was at the Bond counter. But the thing that it smells very, very, very similar to me is my Chanel Chance, the pink one. Um, they just have very fresh floral notes. I smell maybe some freesia. Um, there's this one I would say has a slight more powdery scent than the Bond one, but I will give you the fragrance notes. Off of the website, it says that Chanel Chance, um, and it's an Edu Toilette Spray. It says it reveals itself to be delicate and radiant with an intoxicating light fruity trail, which it does have. An unexpected mingling of grapefruit meets the crispness of fresh green notes while the trace of jasmine lingers in the air, gently worn by a sheer veil of white musk at once, innocent and seductive. So um, clearly it didn't have what I thought was in it, but it does have like, I would say a bottom note of a musk. Um, because when I wear it, the scent that lasts is the musky smell, but it's also very floral. And that's exactly what I smell from this Bond Madison Square Park. It's like a sweet fragrance from a top note, but the bottom lingering note is kind of like a musky smell. And so what I did was when I got home, I put the Madison Square Park on the inside of my wrist and on the outside I sprayed Chanel and I smelled it and I had my mother and my brother smell it and they both said that it really smells very similar. So if you are looking to purchase the Madison Square Park fragrance and you also have the Chanel Chance, the pink one, Eau Tendre or something, I would say you could probably save your money and not get this one because these do run for like I think 280 to three, no 280. I'm not exactly sure, but I will put the prices down below. But these two are very, very similar. Um, I would say they're both good uh, spring and summer scents. They're very floral. I can't really see anybody wearing this in the wintertime, but then again, fragrance is very personal. Some people like to wear it according to how they feel. So 
possibly if you like this scent enough to wear in the winter time i would say go for it but it definitely is a lighter fruity uh floral scent yeah and i would definitely say the madison square park is a little sweeter than the chanel chance now the madison square park bottle is bright pink and it has a green top and if you purchase the 3.3 fluid ounce bottle it comes with a green flower attached to a bracelet and the flower can be detached and worn as a brooch or um, anywhere really. Okay, so this is the description of the Bond Number no. 9 Madison Square Park. A vibrant neon pink and green bottle. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Where, okay, <laughs> notes. Grape hyacinth, huckleberry, prairie, dropsy grass, red leaf rose, red hunter tulips, and teak wood. It's interesting, I don't think just off the top of my head from reading that there were any similarities, but I guess the combination um, of the scents smell the same. I mean, these, they, if anybody else has either one of these fragrances, preferably both, let me know if you think that they also smell alike. Um, smelling it from the cap, which I actually right is the best way to smell a fragrance they don't smell the same but on my skin maybe it's just um something about my skin's chemistry but they do smell really similar and it was interesting as soon as i smelled this the first thing i thought was that smells like something i have and in fact it does so that was just my little quick overview and comparison of these two fragrances um stay tuned in july for my birthday haul to see which bond fragrance i picked out I kind of want to do the, to the three for two deal at Saks, but you know, that's a lot of money to be spending on fragrance all at one time, especially when I'm not going to wear both of them at, you know, the same time because I want to get really into one. So I'm more than likely just buy one. But um, I wanted to do this video because as I researched about number nine last night, I didn't see a lot of women doing fragrance reviews on Bond. And I noticed, I know that, I think the guy said that all their fragrances are unisex, but some are more geared towards women and some are more, some are more masculine, feminine, floral, musky, woodsy, stuff like that. But a lot of the men were the ones doing the review. So I figured this would be good to get this information out there. And I also don't think I saw a Madison Square Park, um review so i just wanted to put this up there for anyone in case you're interested so i hope you somewhat enjoyed this it's really like a first impression video because i have not worn this scent all day but just to give you a little bit of the notes and to you know tell you how it smells it's definitely a really pretty light scent if i did not have my chanel chance i probably would get the bond fragrance just because this is an eau du toilette and that is an eau du parfum of course the bond number no. nine is going to last longer so even though it's like two times the price it will last longer in the long run so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please stay tuned for my other videos i will be doing a haul featuring my new bond fragrance when i get it probably this weekend and i will also do a longer a long-term review on it so see you guys next time bye